greatest generation who ever lived. I mean, after all, we fought in World War II, saved the world, and it doesn't get any greater than that. I really enjoy presenting the Generations in the Workplace topic, not only because it's fun to present because I do so in costume and it allows me to go back to some of my theater roots, but at the same time, the topic has such impact. As baby boomers, we are storytellers. I talk about the subject of generations from a communication standpoint, and oftentimes go into a lot of detail, not just about the style of different generations, but even the expectation of the modality. Do you want me to text you? Do you want me to have this conversation face to face? Everybody can Skype if everybody can have face to face. FaceTime on their iPad now. We're going to have to start worrying about facial expression and all those things again that we haven't talked about for a while. We just talk about what those differences are based on our past experiences. Don't stereotype people based only on that, but at least open the discussion. That's where I think the generational topic really has such widespread impact in organizations. <laughs> I think she hit the nail right on the head on many of the generations. I mean, and I, I really never, never thought about some of the comments she said. I love the way the language of, was about communication, about generations, how each generation had their own unique style and unique purpose and possibility. So it was really a good fit about how to react to others in the world today.